Hello Lolas, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I want to thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and you guys know how much I appreciate all thumbs up and also comments. There's a few things that I do want to let you guys know before I get started into the video with Gigi. Um, number one, this video, this uh, channel actually have a paid channel membership as well. It is a dollar and ninety nine cents to join. You do have to be at least eighteen years old. Um, we do have exclusive live streaming content in that membership. Um, also, uh, YouTube have started so something um, fairly new to um, some of us content creators called a super thanks. So you'll see a heart that you can actually do a super thanks. It's kind of like a tip button. Um, and no matter which way you go, I appreciate your view. I appreciate you watching and listening and enjoying the babies with me. So let's get started with today's topic. I really don't have a topic, but it would be nice if I had a real topic and just roll into it. I gotta start being more organized, don't I? Instead of being so random. I just got through painting so calm. Oh my God, I got some on me. On my hand, I'm gonna be disgusting and make sure I wipe it off. But anyway, <laughs> um, what was I gonna tell you guys? Okay, so real quick, just in case you're new, um, I'm trying to get back in the habit of telling people like where I got my babies from, that type of stuff what sculpt it is because a lot of people ask those questions and I and we be assuming that everybody oh you should already know who Gigi is or who whoever is so Gigi is the Gianna sculpt um by Kathy Romero the skitty <laughs> I'm gonna ask her how to pronounce her name one day I promise um you uh she has a website it's uh silicone studio number two.com there's also um it's two sculptors that work together they partner together so um they have two websites um and the other website is siliconestudio.com so it's pretty cool that's where i got the blank kit from um i got the blank kit from there and then i painted her myself and i will be rooting her later um, she's probably about 21, I'm going to say she's, she's about 21 to 22 inches long. I'm going to, I'm going to guess. I don't remember the measurements, but that's my guess. Um, because she's about as long as one of my other babies. And I think they're around that, that length. So anyway, I'm going to get her dressed in some PJs before I give her a bottle. So we're just gonna have a little little time, talk time with you guys. Um, this baby, I bought the kit. I wanted to paint the face. I was like, I just wanna paint this face. But I said, I'm gonna paint this one to sell. <laughs> it didn't work out for me because I, She's small, so I'd be trying to keep a little hat on. I end up, oh, and she does have armatures in her arms, not in her legs. I ended up, of course, falling in love with her. Actually, the moment I got her as a blank, I was like, oh my God, I, I just love this baby. I just want this baby to stay. But I, I figured I wouldn't be able to afford to do that. So I was like, I'm, I'm just not going to worry about it. You know, I was just like, I'm just not going to worry about it. I know I'm not going to be able to keep her. So I'm just going to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. And I planned on, okay, I had to get this, her back um, button. I had planned on still selling her. And yeah, it just, it just didn't work out. Um, I haven't finished her yet. So um, I still have time to do what I was supposed to do and turn around and say I'm going to sell her but um, you know if I don't have to to let her go I don't think I will oh I should have brought a brush now because all her her little hair is all going in her face do I have one 
on the side i do not okay it's okay but um <laughs> yeah so oh she's just so sweet guys i'm telling y'all look at her like i love i love her movement i love everything about her she's she's a good softness all right come on she's just a good size baby oh and you know it's like she doesn't i know she's supposed to be like nine pounds or something like that but she doesn't really feel heavy to me it's so crazy or maybe i've gotten used to it you know what i mean but i do know like once i start holding like little babies for so long and i just only be working with little babies and then i start picking up my bigger babies i'd be like oh my god these babies are you know I'd be like, this, this baby is heavy. You know, if you only used to dealing with little babies, then I could probably see it. So she's going to put on her pepper pig pajamas. <sighs> do, 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 do. Where am I going to hang? Oh, there. That's a cute idea. I can hang it on my tripod for now. I think she's not going to keep those socks on. I'm thinking about putting her on. Maybe she should just wear solid white socks. I don't know. But yeah, so this is this is her and just her diapy. And it's funny because I think her size is like so cool and I love that her legs are not you know, a lot of people do the legs be all scrunched or bent and you know all the, and you have to, you know, work with it. I love that she has a more straighter leg bend and I can bend it myself although she has a slight enough bend to where it's not like noodling she does have like little knees like I just I love that I love when I can let me bend their legs if I want to type situation I don't want it to be in a fixed position so yeah she's she's very flexible which is nice because it allows me to be able to pose her Oh my gosh, your hair is just getting all in the way. It's all messy now. All right. Um, let's put her shirt on first. This shirt might be. I don't know if this is gonna be big or not. It, it shouldn't be. I think it says it's H and M zero to one month. So I've had this for a long time. Um, my prototype baby is moving along. Um, I'm hoping to make good progress today. Um, it takes me a while to build up the color on these babies. So I always paint from a Caucasian base. So it takes, it takes me time, especially if I'm, you know, I'm not really sure um, in which direction this baby is going to go, but I kind of, I'm hoping to, to, to get something like Nobi color, but I don't know if that's what's going to happen because I don't remember what colors I used. <laughs> so I'm just kind of letting the baby guide me with what I think I see in her sculpt as far as like undertones and stuff like that. So it just, just hopefully she takes on her own look. Once she start coming into color, I'll really, so she gets some color. Um, the thing about it is the vinyl itself is, is neutral, but it's it has some other colors in it. So I have to kind of stabilize those colors and neutralize those colors in her to, to uh, first and then once I get that where I want it to be, I can really start getting into the skin tone itself. So it's a it's a color play game. And um but that's what makes them all turn out so differently. Um and not one pour is the same. Like they're never this exactly the same. Some people are pretty consistent and their color is similar. 
like you know it's almost the same like you barely can tell the difference in each pour but um it's you know because they're using formless too i mean and then you got the supplies and it's so many different things that come into play with it there's no way that you could have the exact exact same thing every single time so um we will see what color we come out with her but i i know that i don't want to i'm going to be working really around the clock today on her she's curing now that's the only reason why i could stop and make this video um while she's curing and then i'll go and grab me something to eat and after that i'll go back and start painting another layer and i'll just keep going and keep going all day around the clock until i get you know where I'm tired my eyes start getting tired I stopped last night I wanted to paint on her some more but then I I was kind of tired and I said no don't risk it risk it because you know you do stupid stuff when you're tired or it's late your eyes are tired you're not seeing properly mess around and being added a dang on rainbow color on the baby let's make sure this just want to make sure. There we go. All right. So, the good thing about these babies is that um, the the best part about having the silicone babies is that you can give them bottles you can give them pacifiers um and it is very very it's a very very lifelike experience um it's so funny because her bottom lip is wet naturally so i was like is something is she is she drooling but no um that looked very 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 real right then in that moment but um yeah, so that's the best part about, you know, having the open mouths and stuff like that. And she's a good eater. She's a good eater. So, yeah, I just literally made this bottle for her this morning. Um, it, the nipple was already sealed. So I went ahead and made her a bottle so she could have a pink bottle. And, um... But yeah, that's the, that's the fun part is being able to give them a bottle. Now, she doesn't have a drinking wet. Um, some babies do have the drinking wet, and so they actually can drink and wet their diapers. Um, she's not wetting her diaper um, in real, and she's not drinking in real either. But it's nice, you know. It it really shows them in a very realistic form. I think, you know, some people are like oh. I don't do the four, the, oh my God, here I go, time to say foreplay. <laughs> oh Lord, child, what is my mind at at two o'clock in the morning? But uh, I don't do the role play um, with my babies and stuff like that. And I think, well, that's cool, but I think it's just really cool. And like for props and stuff like that, like, um, like, if I had someone else that could take photos of us, I would have them come take our picture, like, of me feeding her right now. Because it's, like, really cute. And it'll make a great picture. And I can see the little veins running down in her in her chest. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> um, she does. She is kind of veiny. This, uh, Gigi is veiny a little bit. Not overly vain which you guys can't see it in camera because they're like they're very lightly done um but she does have um some beautiful veining it's like one of the reasons why i wanted to keep her um i don't like i said i don't like to compliment my own work or my own self it seems weird it's kind of like 
the girl that always be like, you know, I'm cute. You see me. And you kind of be like, girl, you ain't that cute. So I don't be want to be saying, oh, you see me. You see her. She's so cute. And then y'all like, mm, it's not all that type situation. But I'm just talking from a collector standpoint at this point. And a proud mommy. <laughs> and a proud mommy. Come here. Any yum yum. Any yum yum. <laughs> you see yum yum. Look. You see yum yum. You see pee. Mm hmm. She just, it just feel like so natural. Like, like I don't see how people can be like, how come y'all hold these babies like that? And how come y'all. Do this, like, look at her. She like, look, I'm gonna move my hand. And look, like it's, it just, she feels so real, like in, in my arm. Like it's just, it's just one of those things. It's just like you got a real baby and it makes you just feel good. It makes you feel really, really good. Like you, Got you a real baby here. I love it. I love, I love, 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 love it. Because I don't have all the other pressures and headaches that come with real children. Real children are joy and their blessings. I get it. Blah, 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 blah. But comes the expenses of daycare and diapers and milk. And um, think about the moms that was having the shortage of formula out here. And they were running around from store to store trying to find milk to feed their babies and all this stuff. we don't have to worry about that we just put some fiber softener in their bottom we don't have to worry about daycare we get up and go to work we leave them unattended there are so many things that we don't have to worry we don't have to worry about their clothes we don't have to worry about them getting too hot too cold we don't have to worry about them getting sick they're forever young they're not going to grow up on us and get mouthy and disrespectful <laughs> We, we don't have to worry about any of that. So they stay babies, sweet babies, sweet little sleeping or awake babies. All right, guys, I'm going to go. See you guys later. Bye.